So C sharp understanding arrays and its advantages and disadvantages. So what exactly is an array? So basically we have matrix in mathematics, right? So the same way, so if you want to represent a ma matrix format in programming, we use something called as arrays. That's what the first definition says. So we represent matrix as arrays in computer programming. So there are a couple of other definitions which I took it from uh, internet. So an array is a systematic arrangement of objects usually in rows and columns. That's what I meant as matrix. So a series of objects all of which are the same size and the type. So we'll be looking out while we program this. So array is supported by almost all object oriented languages and non object oriented languages. So array is there in any of the programming languages. Almost all the programming languages. So next is how do we create an array in C sharp? There are two ways to create an array in C sharp. Let's look at the first way. First way is so first the data type. So if you want to create an integer array, see I'm creating an integer array. So I'm specifying as int a subscript operator, then the array name I tell as array. So or I tell a sample array. I'm creating an array. So in C sharp everything is created uh, on the runtime. So we need to create an object of we need to allocate some memory for that array. So tell as new int of we specify the size of an array. So I specify the size as 5. So this is one way of creating an array. So what this line means, so it tells sample array is an array, so which holds five blocks. So it has, it holds five blocks, that is each block is of size four bytes, that is integer is of size four bytes. So each block size is of four bytes, that is five into four bytes is allocated. So, so how do we access each block? So the first block is access, any block in an array is accessed by its index. So first block's index would be zero. I give sample array of zero. If you want to insert any item, so you can insert so sample array of 1 so you can insert any item sample array of 2 I give some item so it is an integer array so it can hold only integer items so that's what our The third uh, uh, point meant a series of objects of all which are the same size and the type. So each block is of 4 bytes and each block size would be each block size would be 4 bytes and each block can hold of type integer. So this is how you uh, insert a value to an array. If you want to print a value so you can have console.writeline to tell sample array of 0 console.writeline sample array of 1 so I'll take two elements and just print and show you so it tells 200 and 400 so you can use a loop to, in order to print, uh, in case if you have uh, 500 elements, so you wanted to print 500 elements, so uh, basically you cannot keep on console dot write line. So you can use make use of for each loop 
in order to print the details. So for each, so since it's an integer uh, array, so I take it as an int i in, so I have it in sample array, <coughs> console.write line i print i. So I take out these two, I comment these two. So I get 20, 40, minus 90, 0 and 0. So what is it 0 and 0? Since we have, see we have uh, allocated 5 blocks. Out of 5 blocks I am using only 2. Rest of the 2 blocks are free. So 4 into 2 that is 8 bytes is free in this array. So basically in other programming languages uh, you will have when the array is allocated, uh, there will be some junk value inside an array in case of C or C++. But in case of C sharp, if an array, array is, uh, if a memory of for an array is allocated, then the <coughs> free memory will be initialized to 0. That's what you see 0 here. The unused memory locations will be initialized to 0. Next, we look out the second way of creating an array. So, the drawback here, the first way here is, so that's what I see, uh, I know I need only three elements, but I am declaring five elements and I am using uh, uh, only three elements. In case if you want to have uh, only three elements, then you have one more way of creating. So, you can sample i just tell sample is equal to is equal to within the flower bracket i'll specify the items i tell 10 minus 30 comma 44 okay so this is one way of creating an array so here also three blocks three contagious blocks will be created of type integer so each block size will be of 4 bytes so it will be so 4 into 3 so those many blocks of memory will be those many bytes of memory will be allocated so we will we'll make use of for each to in order to display for int since I am using integer int so I tell sample <coughs> console.write line I execute so it gives me 10 minus 30 and 44 that's what I have given here so let's look out uh, the advantages and disadvantages let's learn more about arrays in the next uh, tutorial